different ways to play the game. Each offers a unique swing mechanic and supporting settings. The classic style uses a three-click swing mechanic. Additional aids like zoom and an aiming arc make this an easy and fun way to play. The three-click meter will start its movement from here. You want to make your second click when the meter reaches the power window. You want to make your third click when the meter reaches the strike window. The strike window shifts to the left when you shape your shot left. The strike window shifts to the right when you shape your shot right. The power window moves down the meter as your aim distance becomes shorter. Now that you know how to play and your training is complete, you can keep this style. Practice some more. There are three different ways to play the game. Each offers a... The tour style uses an advanced analog swing that emphasizes both the backswing and the follow-through. When you pull down on the swing stick, the golfer's animation will begin. From here, your speed on the swing stick will factor into your shot distance. You must swing fast on longer shots and softer on shorter shots. readout of your backswing and follow through will appear after you hit your shot. There are three different ways to play the game. Each offers a unique swing mechanic and supporting settings. The tour style uses an advanced analog swing that emphasizes both the backswing and now that you know how to play and your training is complete. So many historic moments have played out before our eyes in major championships, and today, two of the top players in the world are set to tee off. Rory McIlroy holding a one-shot lead over Martin Keimer. It's the final round of the U.S. Open Championship at Chambers Bay. You're going into, you know, the final round of any golf tournament with a chance to win, especially a major championship. 
It's a huge buzz. You know, that's the only way I can describe it. It's the best feeling a golfer can have because you're in the mix and you're in with a chance to win one of the biggest tournaments in the world. It's an incredible feeling. It's something that um, you may only get to experience a handful of times in your life. So, you know, that, that atmosphere, you want to soak it in as much as you can and, and really enjoy it. Rory McIlroy coming off a strong performance yesterday, now making his way to that first tee box and looking to add another major championship trophy to his already growing collection. And Rich, there's no doubt both golfers will be nervous until they get that very first tee shot under their belt. The first tee shot is, is probably the most difficult because you've been thinking about that shot since the night before. Once you get that first shot out of the way, you calm down, you're a little more settled, you're not quite as anxious or nervous, and you sort of get into the rhythm of the round. You want to get off to the best start possible, and, and obviously that starts with, with that first tee shot. Well, here he is, Rory McIlroy, a past US Open champion, about to tee off on what should be an historic day of golf alongside the beautiful Puget Sound. And he's underway. Frank, it looks like a good one. Yeah, it looked like a free-flowing swing, that's for sure. It certainly betrayed the nervous feeling that uh, we thought he might be feeling on the first tee. And a huge tee shot. Well, you've been there, Frank. Nerves are good on the first tee, even for great players. If you can control them. Perfect lie here, Frank. What's Rory got? Well, I expect something just slightly right of the flag. You want to avoid the hill and the bunkers on the right. And there's a little bit of a... Uh, a gut or a chasm just over that left side of the green. So left, not a good option. About 145 yards away. Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Looks to be a good one, Frank. Oh, nestles inside 15 feet. So a birdie chance coming up for Rory. Opportunity to put pressure on Keimer right out of the gate. You know, it's uphill, Rich. And it should, if anything, move to the right. Just depends on the speed of this putt, whether it's left edge or outside. Excellent start, Rory McIlroy. What a nice putt. I think making putts early in a round is very important. It, it sets the tone for the day, and it gives you some positive momentum early. You see the ball go into the hole, and it gives you confidence. You face a downhill putt at a US Open with greens that are as tricky as that. It just makes it even more difficult. I feel like you always face important putts no matter when it is, but. Obviously, they're that much more important when, you know, it's the final round of a major. 